Howdy y'all, it's Mr. E here and our aim for this video is how do we use the mean to find missing data in a sample. Okay, so here's a warm up. I think you should be able to do this. We covered something like this in our class when we were reviewing for our last final. It says, a survey was taken in math class regarding the number of siblings of each student. The table shows the class data with the frequency of responses. What is the average or the mean number of siblings that each student has? So the mean is the number found by adding all the values in the data set and dividing by the, by the total number of values in that set. So this is normally the formula for mean. By the way, to denote mean, we denote it by using x bar. Okay, so basically you add all the values in the data set and you divide by the total number of values in that set. Now, this is a, this, this table here, it, it shows the class data, but you're going to notice that we have a frequency here. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, so let me just break that down. Frequency refers to the number of times that something occurs. So one way to interpret this is to interpret it in this way. There are five students with one sibling, 10 students with two siblings, eight students with three siblings, four students with four siblings, and one student with five siblings. So there are actually a total of 28 students. 28 students, all right? Okay, so it's good to know that. To find our mean, our formula is going to look something like this. Let me explain to you why. If you really think about it, if there are five students with one sibling, how many siblings are there in this column? Five. How many siblings are there in this column? Well, if there's 10 students with two siblings, that means that there's a total of 20 siblings here. How many in this column? 24, because there's eight students with three siblings. What about here? 16 siblings. And what about here? Five siblings. So there's actually a total number of 70 siblings. So that's why I got this formula here. When you're dealing with a group frequency chart, the formula is going to look like this, x1 times the frequency of 1, plus x2 times the frequency of 2, and so on and so forth, all the way up to xn times the frequency n. All right? So if we're going to solve for the mean, we have to add up all the siblings and divide it by the total number of students. And that's going to give us 2.5 as our final answer. So x bar or the mean equals 2.5. Okay? All right. Now, recall the, our aim for this video is how do you find missing data when provided with the mean? So we're going to look at that right now. So here's our example. It says, a survey was taken in math class regarding the number of siblings of each student. The table shows the class data with the frequency of responses. The mean of this data is 2.5. Okay, so that means that x bar is 2.5. Find the value of k in the table. Okay, so we want to figure out what k is. Here's how we're going to find k. We're going to use the formula for the mean to solve for k. So if you recall, the formula for the mean, when you have a uh, group frequency distribution chart, is this one over here. So all we have to do is just substitute and solve for k. So here's how we're going to substitute x bar is 2.5, so we're going to write 
on the left side of the equation. And then it's going to be x1 times the frequency 1. So that's 1 times 5. And then it's going to be x2 times the frequency 2. So that's going to be 2 times k. So we got 2k, 2 times k there. And we're going to do that all the way up to xn, fn, which in this case is going to be 5 times 1. So we're going to write this. Now, what's our n? Well, n is the sum of the frequency. It's the sum of the students. Well, we got 5 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 plus k. So that's 5 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. That's 18. 18 plus k. So we get 18 plus k for n. So now we just have to solve for k. So we get this. So to solve for k, I know that most of you are used to doing the cross multiplication. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we get 50 plus 2k here, and we're cross multiplying this way, and then we're going to get 2.5 times 18 plus k. And I apologize for my sloppy handwriting. That's a 2.5 there. So we're going to get 50 plus 2k equals, so we're going to distribute this 2.5 I apologize for that thing that keeps popping up. So it's going to be 2.5 times 18. That's going to give us 45. And then 2.5 times K. That's going to be 2.5 K. So you're going to solve for K. Minus 2K here. Minus 2K. Minus 45. Minus 45. This goes with that. This goes with that. 50 minus 45 is 5. So you get 5 equals 0.5k divided by 0.5. K equals 10. And we knew that it was going to be k equals 10 from our previous problem because this is the same data from our previous warm-up problem okay so what we do is use the formula for the mean to solve for k and you just want to substitute okay let me bring that back up so you should get k equals 10 okay now I want you to try this problem it says, throughout 11 games in the 2011 NFL season, Tim Tebow averaged 56.64 rushing yards per game. The list below shows his rushing yards for 10 games he started and is missing the yards he rushed for in the third game against the Raiders. How many yards did he rush for in his third game? So I want you to tell me how many yards he rushed for in his third game. And I want you to use the method that we used in our previous examples. Okay, I want you to, to think about how you can use the mean which is given here to solve for this. So if you want to do this on your own, pause the video and do it on your own. If you want to hit, keep watching. Okay, so the X bar is 56.64 so that's going to be 56.64 equals the sum of all this divided by the number of games which is 11 so what is the sum of all that well that's going to be 59 plus 63 plus 43 plus 68, plus 67, plus 13, plus 49, plus 93, plus 34, plus 16, and you get 505 plus the missing game, which we could call x. All you have to do now is solve for x. Have fun doing that. I'm going to stop the video here because I promise I keep it under 10 minutes. 
All right. Take care, guys.